my office at 3 o'clock. What's everybody doing here? Trying to have lunch in four minutes, like you. If, if one of those is peanut butter cookies, that is mine. Let's go. Dale Lawrence. Uh, Division of Host Factors. I see that. Okay, what we've got in Los Angeles, San Francisco, and New York is a number of gay men who've been hit with a variety of opportunistic infections, and really, that's all we know. I've asked Don to join us because for the last three years, he's been tracking hepatitis B virus in gay men, and before that, worked on the Ebola fever epidemic in Africa. Yeah, thanks for joining us. What we've got to do is hit the phones and spread out, contact the health departments in all the major metropolitan areas, as usual, so they can do a hospital-to-hospital -hospital search for cases. Basic shoe leather epidemiology. That's it. We've got to talk to the patients, talk to the doctors who may have treated those patients, and friends, relatives. No question too stupid or too personal. Sexual relationships, too. Lifestyle stuff. Um, household chemical cleaning diet. Could be a bad batch of street drugs. Pets. Yeah, maybe they all get the same kind of kitty litter. <laughs> Don, uh, I'm going to go to New York this afternoon and take a look at this disease. Can you come with me? Sure. If I knew these blotches would turn purple, I'd have bought some bags to match. Here, look at my book. When I was still human. I was the best in the business. Ask anybody. Leave it to me to get some disease nobody ever heard of. Kaposi, sarcoma. Even my doctor had to look it up. Nothing to worry about, he said. Usually happens to Italian men in their 60s who continue to live a normal life till they die of something else. Do I look like an Italian man in my 60s? Now I do. 160. Why do they make things like this that nobody can